10 Port Arthur police hope this surveillance video will lead them to a gunman. Someone shot a 70 year old woman last week here at the Cedar Ridge Apartments along 9th Avenue. Videos like this one offer crucial clues and certainly make it easier for police. Trump News reporter Ebony Coleman talked with the Port Arthur Police Chief Tim Duraso. Ebony, tonight he is pushing for all Port Arthur complexes, I understand it, to, to get security cameras. That's right, Jordan. Chief Duraso says. Officers already have real time access to cameras at 10 apartment complexes. That surveillance video has helped detectives solve countless cases and deter others from committing crimes. It's a tremendous help for uh, an investigation and I think it gives the um, residents some sense of security too. Port Arthur Police Chief Tim Duraso says security cameras give detectives a head start on cases. He says surveillance video from last week's shooting at Cedar Ridge Apartments off 9th Avenue is a perfect example of that. The video has given us leads on, on, on uh, you know, what, uh, who to look for, like the body frame, the way they walk, uh, clothing that they were wearing. We also was able to uh, look at more footage and we saw a vehicle speeding off the uh, premises of the complex. Um, and we're looking for that particular vehicle um, to, to see if they know anything or if they were actually involved. Chief Duraso says the video shows who they believe is responsible for the shooting. That sent a bullet through this hole, hitting a 70-year-old woman. You see an individual that's uh, appearing to be aggravated or agitated. Uh, running around an apartment complex. He could have went into an apartment within an apartment complex. He was shooting like maybe seven or eight units away from that unit. And I think it was just a random uh, incident. Management tells us the apartment has 16 cameras that are monitored through a company called Watchtower. He says the Avery Trace Apartments also started using the technology in the last few weeks. He says other complexes should follow suit. I would encourage any apartment complex without uh, video cameras to install video cameras. Chief Duraso says he spoke to the victim's daughter last week after the shooting. He says the woman is up and moving around and she's on the road to recovery. Studio Ebony Coleman, 12 News.